do me a favor, family. Hit the link in the description box. Purchase your very own new era viral hip hop news hat. Like I said, the link will be in the description box right now. Don't wait, don't miss out. Grab the hottest thing popping right now. The viral hip hop news hats available in the link in the description box. Grab yours right now. The True Podcast with your brother Old God and Sam, man. We're going all the way in today. We want to ask everybody who is watching, please hit the like button to make sure that you share this video and welcome and um, peace to people who are listening on SoundCloud. We do appreciate it. Sam, man, I want to talk about uh, the Migos. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, I've seen this. Um, and Quavo went on Instagram, and I, I'll put the picture up on the screen for y'all to see it. And he pretty much announced that he'll be dropping a solo album later on um this month you know what i mean so um yeah yeah he's poised to drop you know um his solo album what do you think about that because we were just talking earlier about how the migos are such a great group together but can rock out and been doing that thing you know individually um yeah what do you think about it then i want to ask you another question about the migos what do you think about uh quavo you know doing the solo thing i think it's extremely dope i think shout out to the whole migos camp crew for allowing him to go out here and express him himself creatively the way he wants to you mm -hmm. know what i mean he has honcho he has the beats he production he does he has his own lane they all have done very well in marketing and promoting themselves as separate brands mm -hmm. to be able to do these things and are so collectively in tune together to where no ego gets in front of the other to where they can go and do these things and still win right there's nothing i there's, I, I firmly believe that quavo's album that offset and take off are getting a piece of that as well there's no doubt Mm. You know what I mean? I, I there's no doubt in my mind that them two brothers are winning off that album, just like right. they that fall set dropped it or take off dropped it. That then the two others would win off that. There's mm -hmm. no doubt in my mind that right. Southern Atlanta raised rappers, Atlanta business raised men, they doing it the right way. I promise you that they got the tutelage of Atlanta under them and how to really build independently, build a business. They they're gonna be smart mm -hmm. about their money and, and make sure that they circulate it throughout each other. And Quavo mm -hmm. being the person and the brand that he is, he's about to sell numbers. That number, that's do you think go. do you think at some point, you know, um, cause as the article says on Hot New Hip Hop, it's pretty much like saying, like, is he poised to be the Beyonce of the group? And we all seen how, you know, most of your groups, you know, I'm not trying to plan any seeds or anything, I'm just keeping it a buck. Um, most of your groups, and one person has a lot of success. They kind of, you know, split. And when they say, you know what, we had a lot of success together as the Destiny's Child and other groups, but by myself, man, I like I'm liking the way this bag is looking. Cause you know, it is what it is. You gotta split the bag. You know, um, I'm not sure exactly how that pay structure goes, but by yourself, I mean you could see a lot of the money as well. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about um do you think that this is the beginning of the end of the Migos? Never. They different day, different age. Right. Destiny's child, when when Beyonce started going, they were under a label, they had you know what I mean? Um, there was a structure, there was artist development. They kind of molded that for Beyonce to do exactly what she did. I'll give you another example, like your NSYNC, Justin Timberlake, mm -hmm. a different kind of genre, pop genre. They molded and gave that group artist development, but always knew on the back end Justin Timberlake was gonna go and take off and do his thing and do what he do. Right. You know what I mean? There was a structure behind that. When you see amigos who were grew up together, you know what I mean, independently bred. They have a business structure in mixed with the 2018 age of social media where they can all separately brand themselves mm -hmm. individually. So need, none of them can technically fall off. If the Migos would break up today, they would all be good. Mm -hmm. But with social media and everything in your face, they would have to answer those questions. Well, who wants to answer that? Right, I don't think there's right. ascension at all within the Migos. Whereas a Destiny Child, when they broke up or NSYNC or wherever the other groups were, they didn't have to get in front of the answer and the hard questions or sit there and have millions of people right here at your fingertip to be able to flash your phone the way it is. It was magazine or radio. If you ain't want to go on either one of them, you were a ghost. Right. So it's a different day, different wave, different age. I think the Migos are just fine. I think they're about to be stronger for this. I wouldn't be surprised. Like I said, if you see Takeoff, or Offset coming out with album soon. I wouldn't be surprised if you right. see Offset Cardi B album come out. I'm saying this here first. Yeah, exactly. So it get that money. It get that money, and it's coming. So yeah, shout out to the Migos, man. They doing it right. Yes, sir. But you are listening to the Uncensored Truth podcast with your brother Old God and Sam. Man, please do me a favor, everybody listening, hit that like button and make sure that you share this video. We do appreciate that. Hey, yo, check this out. We got a real great service provided for you right now. If you're a serious artist looking to perfect your craft, get your music out there in front of millions and millions of views, then look no further than right here. Hip Hop News Uncensored, our Hip Hop News, and the Uncensored True Podcast are now running specials to promote your product. If you're serious about promoting your product 
on YouTube, email me right here at dlsmediainc1 at gmail.com or my brother Ogod, Ogod at hiphopun.com for further information. If you're serious about your craft, very affordable pricing. Let's go. Wait no further. Look into it right now. Emails in the description box. Hit us up. You already know.